Okay, so, um, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I don't even remember the last time I played, uh, I did the, uh, last session of Mary Bros DS, but finally here, uh, performing for you is the final session of the Mary DS playthrough, and that was really bad. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, I really don't have a good, good excuse for delaying this so much, um, I, I mean, I mean, there's been E3, I guess, <laughs> um, and, and I mean, others, uh, I don't know, like, I've just been kind of lazy all around, uh, with, like, uh, recordings lately, and, like, the only thing I have been doing, I have been doing recording-wise is, uh, Spyro 2, which is the next Tuesday-Thursday game after this, um, and that's completely done. And I don't know why, I, I, I don't know, it's like, that's going to be a collab uh, playthrough, and um, I just, when, when, when you have to, when you plan things out between multiple people, you kind of, you, I feel like you just get more inclined to just actually do it, because, you know, oh, that was an, that was actually a thing, nice, uh, you're more inclined to do it because you have to pl plan it out with multiple people, or maybe just one person, but even still, you have to m you have to work things out between between yourselves, and so like you can't really just do s say you're doing something and then just not do it. You have to stay true to the word, unless something big happens and you can't help it. But yeah, just been doing Spyro 2 mainly, and um. Like I said, I don't- I really don't have a good reason for why this is taking so long to finish. And again, I- I can list- and I mean, to be fair, I can list a couple of things, but at the same time though, there's still, like, no real excuse. Like, even though E3 happened, and even though, um... Uh, I've been doing, I've been doing, going through the Spyro 2 play, uh, playthrough, and, um, some other miscellaneous things, um, like, I, that is just not good, good enough, like, the, this playthrough should have done, like, been done, like, a month ago, if, maybe not even, maybe more than that, but, like, yeah, finally back, We're gonna try and finish the, well, we are gonna finish the game, because there's only one world left, um, and from the map, it looks like there's not actually that many levels here. So hopefully we can just get through fine, get the star coins, and uh, do a quick showcase of the um, extras, and just do general cleanup. Um, I don't remember World 8 too much. Um, it's obviously like lava, vol like volcano kind of bowsery and stuff. Um, I hope hopefully the star coins won't be too difficult. Because uh, if we can just get a streamlined play f uh, playthrough through this world, that would be great. Um, but yeah, I really, I really hope I don't have to go in there. <laughs> All right. There's gonna be something in there. I mean, I can hope. Oh crap. Are you serious? That is the most troll. That's the most troll uh, star coin ever. Seriously, I don't think I can get back up either. I feel like I've just missed everything in this place. Not bad, at least. Come on. How high does this go? 
What's the point? <laughs> Is that just to block the scuttle bugs? I think that's what they're called, by the way. Could be wrong. Okay. So I'm gonna hope that the uh, that we don't we don't need the uh, mini mushroom because I don't know, <laughs> and we'll see soon enough. Okay, okay. I thought I could jump. Yeah, there's really not much I can, not a lot I can say about this game at this point. Like, I feel like I've already talked about how the items feel a bit too, a bit too situational. Like, there's not. Uh, there's not a lot of uses you can get out of them. Uh, like, the blue show is the only real exception. And even then, uh, it's not really something that feels comfortable to be moving around in, if that makes any sense. Because, like, the way that you can't... Um, the way that it just makes you go into a shell when you're at running speed makes platforming a bit more... Annoying. And let's see here. Uh, it was around here, I think. Yes. Okay, that was the first one. Okay. So we still have a chance to get them all. Uh, but like... Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, I don't know. They... Oh, oh, oh. Yes, nice. Like just the the uh, power-ups in this game just feel really situational and like for specific puzzles and getting into like small pipes or stuff and stuff like that. And while there's nothing wrong with that. When that's all you really need, it need like a mini mushroom for it, kind of ruins the fun, in a sense. Because two uh, D Mario games, when you get a power up, a uh, you you want to feel like you got more powerful, I guess. And it's like a extension of Mario's abilities, and like the thing of the mini mushroom, yeah, you can run on the water, I guess, but like you die in one hit. Uh, you don't really have it. You, it. It's harder to just kill enemies because you have to ground pound. Um, and when your big thing is that I can just go through tiny whole uh, passages, um, like it, it's not as it, it's not as like interest. It's not as fun or cool as like shooting fireballs out your hands or like or um, I don't know flying with the with your a raccoon tail or something like that. I don't know, and I, I don't. I don't know, man. I, I, I. The mini mushroom specifically has never really been a favorite of mine. It's cool running on water and stuff, and the some of the puzzles are nice. And I have um, previously been praising the game for uh, some of its uh, clever puzzles or like uh, level design. Especially where you need a mini mushroom to get to two of the worlds. That's cool. But as a power up in and of itself, I've never been that big on it. And the blue, the, again, the blue shell is cool in concept, but there's not really a lot of practical uses for it um, outside of, like, again, finding secrets and stuff. And 
while like running and going into a shell form is cool, um, it like in concept and just there's kind of a thrill of doing that. But at the same time, I'd rather just use a mini. Uh, uh, I'd rather just have like a um, fire flower or something because it just feels more useful, you know. And uh, the Mega Mushroom, as I've said before in the past, it's cool. It it feels nice just wrecking everything, but uh, it's not really really that useful when uh, you kind of. You don't really want to break a lot of the fake like a lot of the pipes and stuff because if you do that sometimes you'll just screw yourself out of getting a secret so Really like there's barely any times where you'd want to use it and like I'm fine with situational power-ups. So I think the 3d Mario games do that pretty well, uh, but in the 2d Mario kind of style I just don't think it works as well, especially with how they try to you, uh, in, implement them here. As like, they they try to make them uh, like a power up, like a, a fire flower or something. But the way they're designed just doesn't really work that well. And it feels like a weird m mishmash of how it works in 2D and 2D Mario and it, how it works in 3D. And it just... It's a weird, it's just a weird mishmash of the two styles, and it just doesn't really work too well. I hope I'm making sense with that. Like, that might have been a bit confusing, uh, the way I came across, but, yeah, I don't know. I think, I, like, Mega Mushroom, I think works better in, like, a game like Mario Kart. Um... Mini Mushroom I just don't care for, in general, um, and again, I like I like some of the puzzles for the blue shell, but as for actually having it, again, I'd just rather have a fly fire flower or something, but, you know, that's just me. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. It makes you think that there's only one car. There's only one fortress or uh, castle, or whatever. But nope. Well, I mean spoilers, I guess. But, but still. But yeah. Uh. I do, I do really, I do really, really like the uh, power-ups in the other New Super Mario Bros. games. Uh, well, I mean, there's really barely anything new in Mario Bros. in New Mario 2. <laughs> like, the closest you get is a golden fire flower. And, uh, that, I mean, it's powerful, and you get a bunch of coins for it, but, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it's basically just a fire flower on, on crack, more or less. This is a very... Oh, hi. It's just like a regular water level with just eels running, uh, swimming about and, uh, you're too close. Oh, man. Seriously, I hate that when you when you want to turn like I'm doing yeah like it takes like 10 years to turn in the opposite direction and I don't like that like that's a problem with like every 2d Mario game I think I could be sorely mistaken there could be one that doesn't do that and I mean we've still got like three other new Super Mario Bros games to go through but I don't remember it being that much different between the games. Now, it's been a while since I played the NES games too, so... At least in Mario World, uh, you uh, can hold shells and stuff that makes you go really fast. Which is interesting. Right, just... I don't care, at least I... 
I'm still alive, I guess. I'm not finding any real secrets. Oh, Star coin. Is that another one? Yes, come on. Close. Come on. Doesn't help that the checkpoint was like right at the start, so if I die, I have to do all this again. Why would you put a mushroom there? It's like you get no, no time to get there. No. Oh crap. Crap. Don't you dare chomp me. Just get to the end. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay, cool. I, I, I don't even give a crap. <laughs> How many? Oh, okay, that's just a regular mushroom house. I don't think there's any like secret exits here. Could be wrong, but we'll find out momentarily. Ah, oh, heck. Let's get some items. We got two here, so. Why the heck not? And I don't really care what I get, so... Uh, fine. I don't wanna- I don't wanna take like 10 years on that, so whatever. Alright. Oh hi, spiders! I believe these are Mario 64 enemies. No, I think these are the Scuttlebugs. Like, the like from Hazy Maze Cave and stuff. Um. Yeah, they look... They look a lot better now, because like, in 64 you can barely make out what they're meant to be. Wait, let's just go up here. This is just like Skullbug City. Dang it! Before I could reach it in time. So I don't, I don't know um what the water things are called. Cause um, and I, I could be totally wrong about the enemy names. I don't know. Regardless, skillage. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That was a bit too hasty there. At least there's a star there, so we can just, you know. But this is, but yeah, this has been pretty standard for a Bowser world. Nothing's truly stood out. We haven't really seen anything we haven't seen before. And of course there's gotta be a... Okay, you know what, let, let, let's just get that. I don't have to risk... Oh, that's a one-up house? I can barely tell in the lighting. I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could barely tell that was a one-up house. I thought that was just a regular mushroom. Like, yeah, walk away. Ah, oh, man. Oh, come on, really? That was just unfair. I'm not f yeah, uh, dude. I I'm not a fan of how they just uh, like pop out from the ceiling like that in an instant. Like you could 
Like, I get that uh, you'll eventually, like, get used to that happening. Because uh, it just happens all throughout the stage. But at the same time, it's still, like, annoying. Like, it just happens, like, in, in an instant. And when you're trying to just... Okay, I need to stop just jumping like a non... Like a crazy person. But, like, I just don't like how they just constantly swoop in like that. With like zero, zero warning. Like they make a sound, but like when they make that sound, they're already down. And there's being difficult, and then there's just being cheap. <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying. All right, let's uh, actually be careful with this this time, because like. My mentality, men mentality uh, for like uh, going invincible is usually there was something in there. Gosh dang it! Uh, that is usually just like just rush and just leg it. <laughs> but apparently that's not what you want to do though. The stars honestly a bit out of place if you ask me, but whatever. All right, can we get a toad house? Or are they all gone? Because of course they'd be all gone. And they all stay gone, right? Oh, whatever. We'll come back. I don't want to dwell on that. Okay, so this is new. Uh, so we can change what platforms show up. Which is... Pretty interesting. Wait. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, it ha- It ha- It changes all the platforms for e everywhere. That's- So I wonder, if I use this- Okay, let's see here. Oh, okay, that's clever. That's cool, that's cool. Nice. For once, I actually got a star coin the proper way. <laughs> uh, nice. Nice, nice. I don't know what the point of that is. Okay. I mean, I got it. <laughs> I can probably just jump it from there. Screw it. Yo, okay, okay. Chill. So I guess it's just like, choose the uh, path where you think is right. And I think I'll go do it. There we go. Alright. Now we just have to... These levels are really short, goodness. Like... I don't remember World 8 being this short, but then again, I haven't played... Last time I played this game was like years ago, so, you know. Also, um, platforms that looked like they were taken right out of TikTok clock. Goodness. Alright. Oh, of course. What? I know if I go in there, it's just gonna be the boss, so how do I... Something I'm missing here. And I can't jump back. So, what the heck? Investigation time, I guess.
What? Are you serious? You go through it. Oh. Uh, Alright. Anything back here? It didn't look like I could really do anything back there, so. Oh, ah, the. Well, if I jump part, uh, over there, then it's just. That's it. Yeah, when I jump back there, there's like nothing I can do. Cause like the gate's just gonna take me to the bus, so like, hmm, I don't know. I'm not really seeing what I can do. Uh, besides getting hit. Oh wait. I got an idea. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just die. I should just chain, uh, hit the block again, and then something should happen. <laughs> if it can even like. Nah, I'm gonna have to play the level again. It's not gonna work. Fine. Get to Bowser. Wait, I wonder. Can I actually use this? Um... It'd be funny if he actually hit the switch. Yeah, dry Bowser. I don't think that actually had damage to them. Okay. Yeah, I think this is, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is, I think, Bow Dry Bowser's first appearance? I could be wrong. But anyways, he's done. Jeez. And, uh, yeah, no joke, Bowser's actually kind of dead <laughs> for now anyway but like yeah so yeah now we just have like all these other levels to go through psych it's not over yet I mean that would be pretty disappointing if it was over but still so let's just go, f let's just kind of speed run this. I mean, I mean, not, not, not really like go speed run, but like just go for it faster, I guess. I don't know. If I can, if I can like just remember what the platforms were and just make that. Uh, I think it was the opposite of what it was there. What kind of... What kind... Oh my... Oh yeah, we need the mini mushroom for that. Crap. What are you gonna give me? Oh. I you know I I'll see you, I'll see you guys uh when I uh get to that small pipe. <laughs> okay, there's also this and I can't see. Let's just let's just leave. Okay.
Come on. Stop it, stop it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm in the room. Star, yes please. Kill him. Oh, dang it. Are you serious? Are you actually kidding me right now? Wait, wait, no, 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 I can, I can still do it. I just got to wait like 10 years. Well, that was a thing. Alright, I don't want to do that all again, so I'm doing this. Screw it. Oh, oh, yes, yes, wait. I don't know why I'm so excited. I don't even need an item right, right now. Yeah, that could be a one-up house, and I can't tell. Either way, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's uh, just try to get this right this time. I still think that's stupid, though. Like, the fact that it just reset itself. It should have. It should have made it so it ju it's just set to what you s set it to uh, when you got the checkpoint. And when I got the checkpoint, it it was <laughs> the right way. So, oh man. Uh. Probably in a design oversight. If I had to guess. Because if that was intentional, then... Goodness, what the heck are you doing? No, 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 I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Can we, like... Get out of the first half? Please. I really don't want to be here all day. Because this game is frankly... I mean... I don't know, I'll get into Final Thoughts uh, later, but... Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to just finish this playthrough and move on, quite frankly. Because <laughs> this has been going on for way too long. But what are you going to do? That's mostly my fault, to be fair. I ju uh, I, I've just taken way too long to finish this game. I guess, like, I just... I enjoy... Okay, good thing I made this. It, the, the, I just don't... connect with the 2D Mario games as much as the 3D ones. I don't... I don't... I don't really... really I don't know what to tell you, like... I don't know. Just... 3D games in general just do more for me. That's basically just how I've been my entire life. I still enjoy the... I still enjoy getting burnt to death. Um, I still enjoy the 2D games, and as repetitive as, as they can be, I do enjoy the new series. Um, and, you know, Mario 3 and Mario World are, are great games. Mario World especially, and um, new, Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. U is great. That's one of my favourite 2D Mario games, and Mario Maker, even though I haven't played it in a while, is a uh, great fun just to see what people can make out of the uh, the 2D Mario styles. Um, 
And you know, I do enjoy playing these games. Again, they just don't hook me in the same way, though. Like, again, I just, I, I don't know what to say. Like, they just, 3D Mario just does more for me. That's basically how it, what it boils down to. But yeah. The 2D games are still great. And again, Mario is still one of my favorite series. There's and there's like a, a really good there's a good reason for that. Like a lot of his games are are fantastic or at least at the very least pretty good for the most part. Um with some exceptions, you know, like Lost Levels isn't that great. I'm not the biggest fan of Mario 2 USA. Or Doki Doki Panic, whatever you want to call it. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is one of the laziest games I've played in all honesty. But, you know, there's there's still a lot of great ones. Like, Mario World is 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 amazing. Same with Mario U. Like, Mario 3 is pretty great. Uh, the original Super Mario Bros. is, is a pretty good game, and I enjoy playing that. Um... Uh, Mario Wii is a great game, um, you know, and I, again, I still enjoy the 2D Mario games, um, and they give you some interesting challenges, and again, uh, Star Coins in being introduced in this game makes it so, uh, the more hardcore player can have more of a complete experience with that, and, like, finding all the secrets and whatnot, um, and... This game has actually surprised me with uh, how much it's used the level design to its fullest. Um, and I really hope I can still get that. Can I wall jump off that? Oh, it came back! <laughs> uh, but like, it, it has actually used the level design quite well. Uh, like... I can't think of uh, uh, examples right now at the top of my head, but it's... It's really... This game, I feel, is as good as it really could have been. And, um, you know, I appreciate it for that. It does, it has, it's done a lot of clever things. I didn't want to do that, I wanted to grab it. I, I, feel, I feel like I've been a bit too ranty in this, uh, session so far. Um... Because I don't want, I don't want it to sound like I'm hating on the game. Uh, I do have, I I have had issues here and there, but as a whole, this has been, this has been enjoyable. I have enjoyed going back to play this game again. So you know, there's no harm done. Also, there's been no checkpoints. Is that a thing with the rest of this world? Because um. Hmm. I mean, I was still incredibly short, so...